What's going on guys? Ryan here with Jetta Patrol. Today, I'm gonna show you my Hot Toys collection. I'm pretty happy about it. Let's get to it. That's right guys, Ryan here with Jetta Patrol. Today, I'm gonna cover my Hot Toys collection with you guys. I hope you're excited about it. I am, I don't think I've ever shared like the entire collection with anybody. I may have previewed it on Instagram once or twice, but that's about it. So I'm going to take you through my Star Wars collection, my Marvel collection, my odds and ends collection. We're going to go through that. Comment down below if you'd like to see more stuff like this. I've got a lot more Hot Toys on the way. I've got an amazing Iron Man I can't wait to get. Honestly, so much stuff. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, we're going to start with this side of the room, guys. And we might as well start up top with some of my favorite Hot Toys figures. Now, here we've got, from my favorite Star Wars movie, uh, Rogue One, we've got K2SO. And his eyes do light up, however, the batteries have died, which kind of stinks. But this guy is freaking unbelievable on the scale side of it. Now he goes down. Those joints uh, are uh, plastic, most of them. But if you go down here, from pretty much the legs or knees down, that's all die cast. So he's pretty heavy as far as uh, weight goes. Uh, but he's cool. You can see him scale next to Jen Urso. This is the Jen Urso Deluxe. Uh, she comes with a poncho and a bunch of other weapons and whatnot. I've got her here with the uh, the data card, which she used to save the day and destroy the Death Star. But you check that out. I mean, just the scale of those two figures is unbelievable. He is awesome. We go down here. We got more Rogue One. Yeah, here we go. Cheer it, Imway. Now, cheer it. Guardian of the Wills, absolutely fantastic figure, fantastic character. We still do not have a Baze Malbus, unfortunately. But I've got Cheerit here doing what he does best, standing on stop of, uh, this is actually a particular sand trooper, but stormtrooper. And he's got his uh, crossbow behind him. Let's see if I can get back there. His crossbow behind him. He's got his staff. Check that out. The level of, I guess, uh, sewing the cut and sew on this the fabric the materials you guys can see it for yourself right there in the details absolutely one of my favorite figures and uh, I love the character and I loved it I was able to have him uh, just kind of standing on a stormtrooper because I thought it was awesome this is actually a sideshow uh, sand trooper sergeant that I bought for like 50 bucks and he doesn't stand up very well and I just figured why not have him being crushed by cheer all right, going down, we're going to break out the clones, guys. Now, I know you guys know Clone Wars is coming back, and this is by far some of my favorite line to collect. Here we've got Commander Cody, and he's got his Emperor Palpatine or Darth Sidious uh, hologram going on there. And then over here, we've got a 212 uh, Battalion Deluxe. These come with both the Stage 1 helmet, which is this one, and they also come with a Stage 2 helmet, which is this one. And these guys are pretty freaking awesome. So, you can see them there side by side. They look awesome. Absolutely some of the most poseable figures in the uh, six scale lineup. But uh, there he is, guys. There's Cody. Going down, we got some more. Now, these, these are not easy to get. I collected a whole pile of these uh, commanders. So, we got Commander Cody up there. Now, we've got Commander Bly. And you can see him kind of close up. Let's see. There he goes. There's Commander Bly. And he's kind of got... He's already got one weapon in hand, but he's got his hand on his pistol over there ready to pull out another one. I mean, look at that one. He's just freaking cool. Back in the back, we've got uh, Commander Neo. He's got the weird-looking helmet. One of the most distinct uh, helmets in the group. Along with Commander Bakara. Bakara's back there in the back. And you can see him back there. But I think all three of these guys just kind of standing up beside each other is a pretty good look. Moving over some more clones. Uh, we actually have some uh, veteran deluxe troopers here. So these are actually both the exact same trooper. They're just with different helmets and different uh, weapons displayed. But it's actually the exact same trooper if you were to buy the box. They come with all this stuff. So there's the stage one helmet. There's the stage two helmet. There's the, uh, the rail blaster, which I love. And then this guy's got, got a long rifle. And uh, that's how they are right there. So I think they're pretty awesome. But the piece of the resistance, the man himself. You ready for this? Captain Rex. Look at that, guys. Check out Captain Rex. He is freaking awesome. So we do get a head sculpt with Captain Rex. 
which we don't get with the other clones. Uh, but there he is. This is the Phase 2 Captain Rex. This guy right here, sorry about that. This guy right here goes for about $500, this particular figure, because it's just hard to find. And everybody loves Rex, right? But there he is. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. Moving up, we've got the Rogue One Death Trooper Specialist Deluxe. Um, this guy right here is actually pretty freaking awesome. So he comes with all these little grenade launch or grenades uh, here. We got all the weapons, reload deals, helmet. He actually comes with uh, this cool base. And he's got this humongous rifle right here. But he also comes with one of my favorite accessories, if I can get it right here. This is actually the doll, if you remember from the beginning of Rogue One, uh, where uh, Jen actually had this in her room, their little bunker. So he's actually holding that. It's actually pretty cool. Next up is one of the most sought after hot toy troopers of all time the Rogue One Shore Trooper. I mean, look at that helmet. Look at the design. Look at the pose. I mean, he is ready for business. Check him out. That guy is freaking awesome. I wish I bought multiples of this guy. I think I paid $225 for him retail, and now they're going for $450, $500. Uh, just because they didn't make enough of them. And, uh, yeah, Shore Trooper. I actually took this guy when I first got him and put him in a lake and got some photos of him. You can check those out on Instagram. Uh, I had a really good time with him. But that is actually one of my favorite troopers so we've got a lot of rogue one stuff so shore trooper death trooper cheer it over here from rogue one obviously and then uh Jin and k2 we need a base malbus we need a cassian andor uh we need a lot more figures from rogue one hot toys hook us up please 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 moving over to this side of the room we've got boba fett this is actually the boba fett deluxe figure it comes with the sarlacc pit back there in the back which is pretty freaking cool uh, but, you know, Boba Fett's probably not my favorite character, but as far as display purposes go, I think he's pretty cool. Uh, so he's got his blaster there. He's got his, if we flip him around, he's got his rocket pack, which actually goes through his little, I don't think it's really a cape, it's more like a towel. So I think he's trying to be a superhero, but he didn't really have a cape, so he got like a bathroom towel. I think that's kind of how that worked out. Put him right there. Moving up, we got... You know who she is. We got Ray. This is actually my very first hot toy that I ever owned. Ray and BB-8 combo set. So check this thing out. BB-8's pretty awesome. We got him there, sand base. We got her now. She comes with a lot of accessories, a lot of display options, but I've pretty much had her on this pose for a good while. I do need to change it up. Now, some of you may be asking, how have I got this thing lit? What have I got going on? These are just uh, Detoff cabinets, and this literally black poster board in the back. And then I actually folded over some poster board to hide the LEDs. Super fancy, super cheap. I think I spent $10 on four cabinets. So, anyways. Guys, here we have the Dark Side Sith Anakin. And this guy, look at him. He is just ready to do business. He's ready to take on some younglings. Look at this guy. Let's see if I can get in there on that head sculpt. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. Just freaking awesome. Love this one. This was a uh, Toy Fair exclusive from uh, San Diego. And luckily, uh, Sideshoe put these up uh, for pre-order, and I was able to grab one. He actually comes with another base, which I've conveniently placed right here. If you remember the battle on Mustafar with Obi-Wan, they were floating on these little droid deals. And if I get them in the light, the base does light up. Uh, I don't have any batteries in it right now, but you can see how awesome this thing is. It is an absolutely cool display. Unfortunately, putting him on top of here is not tall enough for this particular cabinet. So I've just kind of had it out of the way for right now for display purposes, but it is still a pretty cool option. But we'll put it over there for right now. And then we move up. We've got the latest and greatest hot toy in the collection, Emperor Palpatine. And of course, we got him next to Darth Vader. So here he is, guys, Emperor Palpatine, Darth Sidious. Look at that. Absolutely nailed it on the sculpt, guys. Love it. Uh, this is the uh, Emperor Deluxe because I had to get the throne. And then we've got him with the A New Hope Darth Vader. But, I mean, just let me go back to this. Look at this, guys. Let's see if I can get in there. Look at this. This is crazy. I love it with the shadow there from the uh, hood and from the uh, throne there. 
I just think he's freaking cool. So love him. So I may have him displayed with Vader for a while, and then we may change it up and have Anakin up there with him. If we ever get a Mace Windu, I would love to have that battle reenacted. I would think that would be just freaking awesome. Moving over to this side of the cabinet, we've got Yoda. This is not my favorite Yoda. I'm actually selling this particular Yoda in favor of the Attack of the Clones Yoda uh, that they have up for pre-order right now. So this one's actually going to be leaving the collection at some point. Uh, it, does, it is very cool. It does have two head sculpts. It is very good. I just prefer the Attack of the Clones uh, Yoda better than, than this one, but uh, there he is. And then we've got Jedi Luke from Return of the Jedi. There he is. I don't think we have ever gotten a solid Mark Hamill head sculpt out of Hot Toys, but this is by far the best one we've gotten so far. Um, here we go. You can see the hand detail on the, uh, you know, the damage there, but it's pretty cool. It's again, not my favorite figure uh, out of the collection. I think we go back down and we go, oh yeah, we have another Anakin. This is obviously uh, the good Anakin before he turns all evil over here uh, and that guy. But uh, you can see the difference in sculpt, guys. Absolute killer there. Main difference is going to be the eyes. A little bit of the paint apps are different on this guy. Uh, but I've got him there in kind of a, a force pose going on. And uh, I think he's pretty cool. Moving down from Anakin, we're going to check out Kylo Ren. This pose took me forever to get. Absolutely forever to get. Look at this thing. This pose took me forever. I think it's awesome, though. Look at that thing. He's like getting ready he's got like a force push going on with his um, left arm there and he's got the saber in the right I mean, just look at this thing this is Kylo so this is going to be the uh, force awakens Kylo this is not the last Jedi Kylo that comes with the uh, Adam driver head sculpt I prefer the helmet I know some people are like hey I gotta have the Adam driver head sculpt honestly I like the helmet I love the detail on this one I mean it's just look look at this guys look at that Holy cow. Boom. How sinister. I just, I hope he gets a helmet back in the uh, the next movie, honestly. And moving down, the one that everybody wants to see almost every time is General Grievous. Now, this is not a Hot Toys figure. This is actually a figure by Sideshow Collectibles. I think it came out in 2015, 2014, something like that. This guy is so freaking fragile. It is impossible to get him. I mean, once you get him in a pose that'll actually stand, uh, you can pretty much just leave him there. This is the um, General Grievous Deluxe. Uh, the Deluxe comes with this battle damaged eye which is awesome. Look at the detail. I mean, this is a fantastic figure. If Hot Toys actually makes a figure of one of these, I'll buy it. But if you look in here, it's like uh, internal skeleton. Let's see if we can get the focus. Uh, you can see the variations in the paintwork on the inside and the guts and all that kind of stuff. Um, he comes with a couple different things. He comes with this uh, forearm setup with the four blades. He also has additional arms if you just want to display them with uh, two arms instead of four. But who would want to do that, right? So there we go. The cape is absolutely beautiful. If I zoom in here, you can see the texture on the cape. Let's see if we can get it to focus there for us. There you go. See, I, there's actually a design on the cape itself. But there's General Grievous, guys. Absolutely one of my favorite figures in my collection. I think he's freaking cool. Rounding up the Star Wars collection guy, I actually have this First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, this is not, this is not my favorite Star Wars figure. I'll be honest with you. Uh, posing him is near freaking impossible. I mean, the likeness is good. If you just want him to stand there, it's a good mold. It's a good, I mean, it looks like a first order stormtrooper. No joke. It's, it's not a bad figure. Uh, if you look over here, the weapons are made well. Uh, this magnet here that attaches to this blaster to his thigh uh, is not very powerful, so that's kind of lame. Uh, but these blasters are, I mean, they're well made. So we got that guy. And then if I move over here, we've got my last clone trooper which is actually an ordnance trooper so i think he's pretty cool there he is this guy right here he kind of deals with the bombs which he comes with these awesome little uh detonator deals right here i just think he's cool so this was a from a particular episode of clone wars uh when they had to go in there and defuse a uh, big uh, chemical weapon and that kind of stuff so uh there he is but so that does it for star wars but let's move on to Probably the cutest hot toy ever made. You ready for this? Look at this. <laughs> Here he is, guys. Life-size baby Groot. 
Look at this guy. He is freaking cute. He's actually ready for Christmas. I absolutely love Groot. Mrs. Jetta actually made this outfit for Groot. You probably saw him on a live stream. But look at this guy. Uh, this is the first version of Groot. So I actually have the extra hands. I have the extra head sculpts and the uh, Ravager outfit. But for right now, he's just ready for Christmas, guys. And uh, how awesome is he? So there are many times I actually forget that I own this figure because I don't really have him displayed anywhere near anything else. He doesn't fit in the collection. I bought him because, well, it's just cool. There's Captain Jack Sparrow, guys. Check him out. There's the uh, the zombie shark base. I think that was pretty cool. Love the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Uh, I bought this one because, honestly, when you see this head sculpt, when you see this head sculpt, look at this. If that isn't Johnny Depp, I don't know what is, guys. It is unfreaking believable this one. Uh, and that's why I bought it, because it's just an awesome figure. But I've had him pretty much here, um, drunk for a while. He's got his uh, bottle of rum. I mean, they've got everything. He's also got his little sabers and everything, the compass. Uh, this figure's cool. I've been talking about selling him for quite a while. I just haven't done it yet. And so maybe very soon we'll just go ahead and get him out of the collection. But it's an awesome piece. It just, once you see the rest of the collection, it just doesn't fit. We've got Homecoming Suit Spider-Man. Check this guy. This is the tech suit version. I don't have the homemade version. This one, I really wanted this version because I think this is like an iconic Spider-Man. So we'll, we'll kind of zoom in here, guys. Look at this thing. I think it's just, it's just brilliant. Everything about this guy is absolutely fantastically done so we look at this guy i mean look at the sculpt look at the design look at the colors i think everything about it is just fantastic that is by far one of my favorite hot toys in my collection i don't see me getting rid of this one anytime soon but right next to him is somebody who needs no introduction and yeah there he is <laughs> look at this guy Oh, man. I absolutely love this pose, too. I think this is a killer pose. Look at this thing. He is ready for business, guys. So there's Deadpool. This is version 2 from uh, Deadpool 2. And uh, you see him right there. I like this one. This suit is much better um, tailored. It's much better colored versus the first version, which I also owned at one point. But I just like this one. This guy's just like metallic sheen on the shin guards there. Uh, he's got his Deadpool signal in there. And I just think that's an absolutely fantastic figure. So super happy to have that one in the collection. Next up, we've got concept art Captain America. This, again, was no, not uh, featured in any films, but they absolutely nailed this on the concept. I mean, look at it. So it's got a black suit. It's got this scale mail going on. I'll just have the detail come across there. Absolutely love this one. He's got the uh, the Avengers logo going on there. It does not come with this head sculpt. So this particular head sculpt is from the Winter Soldier. Uh, but I really like this head sculpt on him. And so that's why I've got him on there. I will actually, uh, let me show you the other head. I've actually got it. This is the actual head that comes with that figure. And although as awesome as it is, it has the change out uh, mouth part. So you can have him like angry and whatnot. I just think with the clean head sculpt with Chris Evans, I just think it makes it stand out even more. I wish they would have included it. You guys comment down below. Let me know what you think about that. But for right now, I'm kind of digging that. Moving on from Cap, we're going to move over to the God of Thunder himself. This is Thor from Infinity War. Look at that pose, guys. Look at that pose. I've got him on his flight stand. Got Stormbreaker. He's ready to kick some Thanos' tail. Bring me Thanos! Uh, here we can take a look at Th uh, Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker's pretty awesome. Moving across. He does have these LED features in his chest. So you can turn those on and off. But check out this head sculpt. I think they absolutely, absolutely nailed this thing. Absolutely nailed the Chris Hemsworth uh, head sculpt. The eye patch is magnetically uh, attached. So you can remove that. I kind of like him with the eye patch. I love the pose. He's just up here kind of like watching over the entire collection. So if Thanos ever decides to break into the studio, uh, Thor's going to take care of him for me. Moving over from the God of Thunder to, well, the God of Thunder. So <laughs> here we go, guys. I've got Thor from uh, Thor Ragnarok. This is Gladiator Thor. I do not have the Road Worn Thor, which I might like to pick up sometime. Uh, but this is the Gladiator Thor. I much prefer uh, this head sculpt here. I love it. Uh, I will tell you, of the two, that one is the better one. But of the Road Worn Thor, I think this is a better head sculpt. Uh, he's got a removable helmet. You guys can see the detail there. It's just cool. So here he is, ready to battle Hulk. I've got him kind of set up here. He's got his little weapon there, his baton. And he's got his shield, which the shield is fantastically made. 
I mean, look at the detail on that thing. Guys, this is why I collect hot toys because this stuff is just awesome. Look at the detail on the pants, the jacket, the shield. I mean, just awesome. But you can't have Gladiator Thor without dun, 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 Gladiator Hulk. <laughs> Look at this guy. He is so freaking intimidating. This is the only place in the collection I can actually make him fit. Uh, he will not fit in a Detoff cabinet unless I uh, remove a shelf, which I can't really do that right now. Uh, so I've got him up here along my Marvel line. And here he is standing over everybody. I mean, you can see the height difference between these two guys. It's crazy. Uh, but here he is, Gladiator Thor. I'm sorry, Gladiator Hulk. Uh, with his screaming head sculpt on there. He has two different head sculpts. I like this one. The body armor is amazing. The detail is amazing. The weapons. Uh, look at this. Man, look at the hammer. Holy crap. But look at the detail in here. I love it. Uh, even the detail on the shin armor. This is by far one of my favorite Hot Toys of 2018. And it was an awesome gift from my buddy Nia over at Shumi Nation. So how awesome is that? But that is my Marvel shelf. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was my Hot Toys collection video. I have to do one for my pops, which is like 700 pops, which is kind of crazy. I got a lot of those. Um, but yeah, there was actually a figure I was not able to show you because I haven't actually opened in the box. Uh, this first order Stormtrooper, I actually have two of those. I won it from Sideshow Collectibles and uh, it's just sitting in a box. So I haven't even opened that one yet. What else? I've got Neon Tech Iron Man coming up, uh, Darth Maul, War Machine, Hulk Bust. I got, there's so much stuff coming in guys. I can't wait. So some of this stuff's gonna be staying in the collection. Some of it will go. I am selling some of my clone troopers to make room for other things because the cabinets are full and it's either make room or buy more cabinets. And Mrs. Jetta would prefer I make room rather than buy more cabinets. So there you go. Uh, maybe you guys can change your mind in the comment section. I don't know. But guys, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite figure in my collection was. And let me know if you have any of these, what your favorite figure is. So that's what I like to know, guys. Continue collecting what you like. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.